The National Film Board of Canada presents Animated Motion by Norman McLaren and Grant Monroe. Part one of a series of films in which McLaren comments on, demonstrates, and classifies aspects of motion which the animator employs in his everyday work. This is motion picture film. And here is one frame of film. The difference between one frame of film and the next is the essence of all motion picture and animation. 24 such frames make one second. Here is a simple animation stand. The camera. The tabletop. The button, which, when pressed, takes one frame of film. The counter that keeps track of the number of frames shot. In how many ways can something be animated from A to B in a straight line? Ten ways? A hundred? A thousand? Or more? Using a cutout disc as a symbol for anything we wish to move, let us see. The animator first takes a few frames. There will be no movement. In one frame from A to B. Again some frames of the disc resting. The result. Another way of going from A to B. In two moves. Still another way. In four moves. To ensure moves of equal size, a ruler may be used. The faint marks are called calibrations. Too fine for the camera to see, they are visible to the animator, who may thus pre-plan the action rather than improvise it. With or without a ruler, an experienced animator relies greatly on the muscular memory of the hand for the size of the moves. As cutouts are often such that calibrations cannot be used, developing muscular memory is important. Sixteen moves, this time from A to B. This animator develops speed in shooting, for it helps maintain the feel of the motion as a whole. Thirty-two moves from A to B. Sixty-four moves, but only thirty-two calibrations. Between each, she makes a move simply by feel. A 
128 moves from A to B, twice as many as before, and each move half the size. Two hundred and fifty six moves from A to B. Five hundred and twelve moves from A to B. Each tempo has its own character or mood. Compared with the earlier frantic tempos, this one is peaceful. 1,000 moves from A to B. Tempos appear to be modified by context and association. For example, if this disc is associated with a large object, such as the sun, it appears to be traveling very fast. If seen as a tennis ball, its motion seems unbearably slow. Tempos can be much slower than this, so slow, in fact, that the disc would appear stationary. Let us review the range of tempos the animator is most likely to use. Motion may be classified in different ways. What we have illustrated so far is motion's main characteristic, tempo. All tempos are part of an infinitely graded spectrum. In conclusion, the size of the move is the animator's chief concern. Whether he is animating a cutout, an object, a substance, a person, or a series of drawings. Part 1. End.